guys, this is Doug back with 60 Gang. I ran out of power and the battery died on the other phone while I was recording with the with officer. With the officer. Um, Alright, 60 Gang, I'm back and my phone battery died during the, the situation with the uh, bank and officer carpenter he was very uh, cooperative he saw what was going on he had his suspicions about uh the 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 chiropractor the management team he had his suspicions they were being deceptive to him uh, they first told the officer that uh, he didn't know who i was and that i probably went to another 100 percent chiropractic office and it wasn't theirs um, then he told the officer that he would check his computer and he'd be back out with his laptop. He never came back out with his laptop and he kept, became deceptive. Then he called Care Credit on the phone. He couldn't get through. And so the officer became suspicious and he went ahead and got his identification and pretty much took a police report, which is what I wanted because uh, the, from looking at it, that uh, the money, the money was sent back on the initial loan on October twentieth, twenty twenty. Then in December twenty twenty one, it was reopened in my name, unauthorized, and the officer saw that. And they saw the sequence of numbers at the same bank. And so he inquired him about it. The, the, the guy was all in denial, but he wouldn't show any evidence of me ever being a patient there. And that's where the, where the officer became suspicious. And he went ahead and made the police report and told me to stay away from there. So I'll be getting my police report from um, Officer Carpenter. Officer Carpenter, I appreciate you. And then I have to go get an affidavit and turn it in and let the bank check with 100% chiropractor because it's the only place it could have originated. I never had any reason to have a loan from a uh, synchrony bank other than 100% chiropractor. I deal with Capital One. Shout out to Capital One. So.
don't know if I stopped the recording, but I'll be right back. Let me check. Okay, I'm back. So that's where it's at. I'm going to put these videos together. hope you make sense of it. So I got to wait till tomorrow to get the affidavit. Uh, and I got to wait three business days to get uh, the police report. And that's basically all I can do for now. We are now headed home to drop off a few items and then it looks like I might be going to Fairville, Georgia. So let me get some gas right quick. And handle that business. It's your boy Doug. Thanks for being with me. I'll be back.